Hi, this is Joseph here from ACAP today. We're taking a look at the ASX 200 on the daily chart. So we are looking at a couple of things. So obviously we can see that the uh, short to medium term trend is down. You can see a, uh, you know, a couple of nice little signs here that's uh, suggesting that's in the, that's the case. But things do change a little bit on this low here. And we can see that it lines up quite nicely with this previous level of uh, support. And um, we haven't seen price below this level really well since going back to uh, all the way back over to uh, this period here where we saw that decline down to uh, that not that 92.22 uh, area. Um, I just want to make something pretty obvious. Um, I don't know exactly why and how uh, these values are displayed in uh, TradingView. Obviously, we all know the index value is not that uh, not that so unless I'm doing something wrong I'm not sure I will check up on it but obviously the ASX 200 uh, yeah is um, yeah not at that level um, that's not the price so anyway moving on so now this is where we were this is where we're really concentrating on is this area here uh, it could be a sneaky counter trend uh, long play but we've got to remember price overall still remains in a bit of a price range. So even though we have this short-term downtrend inside the range, it's not in the long-term downtrend at all. And if we take a look here, we can see it's in a pretty big uh, price range. So we're at, we're sort of at the bottom of the range. We had a mini range uh, here that was beaten uh, by this move down, which uh, then made a pretty decent looking continuation pattern down. But now we've seen support come back in. So that's really what we're interested in at the moment is this level here. And if we're going to see a new rally uh, try to form off this area, so far at the moment buyers are put, um, you know in the positive for a second a second session. So we can see yesterday's failed uh, failed low, which lines up quite nicely with that area here as well. We saw some failed lows, so we're, we are hoping to see that this is a value point. Uh, we have some divergence as well, so we can see a higher low on the RSI and a lower low on price. So this adds to it as well. But really, the key divergence. Is always good to see uh, in situations like this where you're seeing a lot of support being seen uh, but you know divergence is just an indicator based pattern uh, while it is good to see um, we can see that there's divergence here as well and price made another low so you can't just solely trade off it uh, it does give you a, you know, a little bit of an idea that can help uh, support the uh, price based idea that you're looking at now and um, that, that's really how I see it. So we can see it's coming out of a, an oversold area as well. So that also does add to it a little bit more as well. But now what we really want to see is something from buyers. And we have a few things coming up this week. So primarily we have the uh, NFP on Friday. And if uh, things, you know, in terms with yields and the rates outlook, if that does start to stabilize in traders' minds, are we going to see a little bit of a short-term uh, ease in some of the selling we've seen in stocks? And if we do see US indexes as well start to uh, start to pick up and see some buying that should transfer over to the ASX. Uh, locally, the RBAs have said there could be one more interest rate rise, but that could be starting to become priced in. So if things do uh, start to get a little bit more positive overseas in terms of leads, uh, that could filter through as well with a little bit more with more stability on uh, the rate front uh, in Australia as well. So let's see what happens tonight. We want to see this level hold. If that level breaks and we see selling move back below there, that's starting to turn into a down trend and we'll continue to see if we get our higher lows and lower lower lows to support that so that's what we're watching today and we're going to see if we can get a bit of a bounce up and maybe test uh test uh, up to this resistance level uh, possibly if we do see buyers you know really start to uh, push on so that's it for today's update sorry if there's a bit of a waffle in there but i um, hope you're having a excellent thursday we wish you all the best of your trading and until our next up, uh, update Bye for now. Thanks very much for watching and your time and uh, yeah, good trading.